Brand new designs are up on the Edge Redbubble, werewolves, spiders, FedEx amphibians, protocrocs, and more. Go check out the Redbubble with links in the description and comment section below. Ever had a good look at a chimp or monkey at the zoo? Ever really, really looked closely? Notice that they have really dark eyes? Why do great apes, our closest relatives, have dark eyes while we have bright white eyes? There's a lot more to this question than meets the uh, eye, and it involves a bunch of different possible adaptations to our way of life. The human eye is made of three obvious parts. There's the pupil, the black circle in the center, the iris, the colored band around the black pupil, then the rest of the eye, which is called the sclera. In us stinky hairless apes, the sclera is white. It's the opaque protective layer which encloses the entire eyeball besides the iris and pupil. Most other mammals have a different type of sclera. That is, some have a dark colored area around the iris with only a small sliver of white beyond that, or completely dark sclera altogether. Why is this? Why are we special? Are we? Traditionally, researchers agreed upon what's called the Cooperative Eye Hypothesis. Originally proposed in 2001 by fine folks at the Tokyo Institute of Technology, it suggests being able to quickly tell the direction of someone's gaze was and is such an important nonverbal social signal that humans or hominins born with dark sclera were less successful than those with white ones. This eventually resulted in progressively lighter sclera in our ancestors and probably our cousins, with humans being the only ones left. To go down the cooperative eye hypothesis rabbit hole just a tad more, great apes are great at cooperating only in situations in which deception is highly unlikely. Most great apes have a general lack of cooperativeness and are competitive towards one another. They are adapted to be more egotistical than humans, as hard as that is to believe. Humans survived away from the jungles of Africa due to our level of cooperativeness. This would have helped our ancestors when out hunting together. They didn't need to verbally tell each other where to look and scare the prey away. Just a flick of the eyes in the direction of the prey was needed. If this sort of cooperative hunting strategy for the white sclera signal is to be taken more generally, then perhaps other mammals that hunt cooperatively have something similar. At, at least dogs do. Most pack hunting dogs, like wolves or wild dogs, have white sclera presumably for the same reason as humans. But a relatively new study helmed by an international group of scientists presented evidence that the cooperative eye hypothesis isn't enough to explain the white sclera phenomenon. Look at this photo. The chimp's eyes are dark, and the sclera are very dark. Despite that, I think we can all agree that we can see where this guy is looking. Turns out we aren't special here, as apes can easily tell where the other apes' eyes are looking. Not all apes have dark sclera either. Individuals of gorillas and chimps have been observed with white sclera, but this is still a rare condition among these apes. Let's go back to that handsome devil looking off to the side. He has pretty typical chimp eye color. The reason we can easily tell where this chimp, whose name is Musa, is looking is the same reason we can tell where other humans are looking. It has nothing to do with the exact colors of either sclera or irises. It's about contrast. Chimps have dark sclera with bright golden irises. Bonobos have lighter sclera and darker irises. Humans, of course, have dark irises and light sclera too. When the team of scientists tested the relative difference in pigmentation between the three primates, chimps, bonobos, and humans, they found the color contrast was largely the same between all three of us. If we label the pale sclera and dark iris condition type 1 and dark sclera with light iris type 2, then most chimps have type 2. However, most bonobos have type 1. What's important to the new study is that the contrast is the same. Turns out bonobos can follow a human gaze easier than a chimp can. This might help support the self-domestication hypothesis, that being the idea that hominids evolved towards collaborative, docile behavior as seen in humans and bonobos. This meant living in an environment that favored reduction in aggression towards one another. This could explain depigmentation, arrested development, and reduced sexual dimorphism in modern humans. But that's up to more research to get a better handle on. Clearly, it evolved due to multiple reasons. 
A new study doesn't disprove the role gays had in the evolution of white sclera in humans, but it does show that it's not so sturdy an explanation to choose as the only one. There was definitively more than one thing going on that forced the white sclera to exist. That's usually the case when it comes to evolution. There's always more than one reason to crack the egg, and more than one way to use that egg to make an omelet. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, hit the bell icon for updates, like this video, and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Special thanks goes to my elephant tier patrons, Thea Svensson, Staniforth Hopkins, Dinosaur, Chris Frampton, Biotaverse, Arda Bayer, and Christoph Hubbinger, as well as my Tyrannosaur patrons, Iron Bladesman, Henry Brennan, Danny Van Heck, and Dana Manchester.